Oh, hey everyone. Can you believe that this image isn't actually real? So this image is created by Agan, a generative adversarial network. And I'll leave a link to the website, but the website is thispersondoesnotexist.com. Now, one of the cool things is if you're into Python and things, you can actually, if you've got the appropriate data, program your own program to generate these kinds of image with StyleGAN2 for PyTorch. Anyway, I'll leave that for another time. I initially saw this on 5-Minute Tutorials, which is quite a cool YouTube channel. But yeah, what this uh, GAN will do is it will generate all kinds of amazing images. All you have to do is refresh the browser, and it basically turns out an image maybe every second. And obviously updates the website. But I just thought this was really cool. Like, if you saw this person, there's no way that you would think that this person wasn't real. And the other cool thing is, because these people are randomly generated, you could probably use this um, person's face in, for example, an advert or something if you wanted to. And I don't really see any problem with that because the face is randomly generated. So... Who could complain, honestly? But yeah, I just thought this was a really cool website and wanted to go over it on my channel. Um, again, the same person has generated this cat does not exist.com, which I find kind of hilarious. But um, if you're looking for a cute picture of a cat or something, like look at that, honestly. You, you would think that this was a real cat. I mean, there's very little way that you could tell that it's not. What else do we have? Oh my gosh. What the heck? This horse does not exist.com. Or maybe this one isn't quite as good. I mean, that's kind of a nightmarish uh, horse if ever I've seen one. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Oh, that's kind of nightmarish. Oh my gosh. Again, these images, you only get to see them once before they're completely gone f forever. Wow. I mean... I have to say, this isn't quite as good as the one with the face, but, uh, oh my gosh, this is night nightmare fuel. That one's kind of okay. I, I mean, God, its leg seems to be detached. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, but, but yeah, you get the idea anyway. Um, so yeah, if, if you want uh, to have nightmares, <laughs> I recommend the horse one. Oh my gosh. See, that's a nice picture. Almost. Oh, that was pretty good, that one. Um, let's go on to this chemical does not exist. Which, again, maybe not many people would use particularly, but uh, this one seems to randomly generate chemicals. Which is quite cool, or rather images of chemicals. And again, this one's called uh, this artwork does not exist dot com. That's kind of cool. Looks like uh, crows and things. The only problem is if you want to download one of these images, you won't download this image because it will look to the original website to download it. So if you do want to download it, you should probably use a uh, print screen or something as opposed to downloading directly from a website. Honestly, this image right here, okay, if you were to take this, print it out on a large bit of paper, take it to the Tate Modern, they'd probably buy that from you. Like that is really nice, actually. Kind of looks like a robot or something. You know, if I saw it in an art gallery, I genuinely couldn't tell. I mean, I'm not always the biggest fan of modern art. Although I, I do understand it as much as anyone else does. I just don't always feel that they've kind of put the effort in. I mean, only with specific artists. I mean, some artists are pretty incredible. Now that's kind of disturbing, if I'm honest. But yeah, I'll leave a link to, in the description to uh, all of this, so you can go check it out yourself. I quite like that. 
there is um another video I really want to make, which again is about Python generating images. I'll have to do that at a, at a later date. But uh, yeah, that's quite striking. I mean, I know the machine probably doesn't have any artistic talent. It's simply recreating images that it's seen. But you know, the contrast between the red and the blue there is very nice. I would say. Hmm. Anyway, let me know what you guys think and have fun with these websites. I can foresee all kinds of things that you could do which are quite useful, especially with the initial face generation. I love how it puts in the little details, like the little wrinkles on the nose and whatnot. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye, guys.